Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Katrina and today I'm doing a video on business essentials. What you need to start your home based business. What do you need to make it function? What do you need to make it work well? What do you need day to day? Things that you'll need to get everything flowing that you don't have to keep running out, going out, paying someone else to get or do. Just little essentials that will help you day to day to be more productive, to get things done faster and efficiently. So now I know some things might seem like, oh, that's obvious. I know I need that but this video was requested a lot of people don't know just little things that you might be able to do from home things that might be more cost effective and depending upon what type of business you have that you're running whether it's a small boutique a clothing line or whether it's crafts I do a variety of things so I have a clothing line I have a craft line I do tumblers mugs I do all types of accessories I do it all so hopefully I'll be able to help you and no matter what type of business that you have so without further ado, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel because I'm bringing you all the scenes of behind my business, helping you grow yours and help you be more productive. So let's get started. <music> Notebooks, I love these little cute planners. I do all my scrapping in it. I, I mean, ideas, whether it's, you know, branding ideas, whether it's um, things I wanna create, content, things I wanna make, it all starts with writing it down. Before I can create any type of design, before I come up with anything, inventory goes in here, ideas goes in here. This is my business Bible. So you will need somewhere to keep all your notes in, to keep all your ideas in. You definitely have to be organized, to-do list, everything I have in here. I'm in the process of making my own little stationary corner as well, just trying to fix up my desk a little bit more. So it's gonna have like my calendar, I'm gonna keep all my organization tools and stuff in here. But my notebook, I had since day one. So you definitely need to get some type of notebook planner, you know, calendar organizer to keep all your ideas in because you can't run a successful business without being organized. With that being said, let's get started. So whether you're doing a clothing line or um, crafts or hats, or whatever it is that you're selling, whatever it is that you're making, you definitely have to have some type of editing software where you're creating stuff, unless you have someone else doing that for you. So I create all my stuff on Canva, um, but mainly in Photoshop. So those are the different software pro um, programs that I work in. I don't really create in Silhouette Studio. As you've seen in some of my videos, I show my Silhouette Studio, but I create all my designs in Photoshop and then transfer it over to Silhouette Studios to print it out. I create some of my designs, some of my templates also in Canva. So Canva.com is awesome if you don't have Photoshop, but there's so many different platforms. So if you don't have Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator, because it does take a learning curve and you do have to pay for those monthly subscriptions, a cheaper option might be using Canva.com. So go to Canva.com and you can check that out. You can create everything on Canva. Canva.com is the go-to for creating all type of content, templates, and everything. And you can even create your business cards. Leads me to my next thing. You want to have business cards and you want to have thank you cards to give out as well. I'm going to be actually doing some more because these are old, but these are the first ones that I created. But these are my thank you cards and I'm going to cover up my discount. Got to cover up my discount because you got to purchase to get the discount. These are my thank you cards that I put in every order. I have like a black and gold theme. But I definitely want to use more. Now you can create these on Vistaprint. That's probably the number one top website for people going to for business cards and thank you cards. But I found another site. I think it's called Got Print. Um, so I'm going to link that down below where I got mine from. And these were my... I use these for hang tags. So another thing when you're creating, um, I don't have business cards, but I do give this out and I'll write like other information on the back. It has my website, but I use business cards as my thank you cards. I believe I got like 500 or a thousand. I can't remember. This might've been 500. This might've been a thousand. But the price was just awesome. So I'm going to link where I got it down. You can upload your own artwork or you can create one on their site as well. But the price I got was just, I think from Got Print, I, when I compared it to Vistaprint, the price was just much cheaper. It was super fast shipping. But Vistaprint does do sales regularly. I just was looking on there for the amount that I needed. I didn't get a sale. This is like the gloss finish. 
yeah this is the gloss finish but they have matte finish they have all kind of things so now these were for my brand so i purchased these for my brand because these are my brand colors I, they go in every order so now if you don't want to go and customize your own business cards or thank you cards you can just buy some pre-made and you can fill it in and write in your own stuff and i use these for my etsy shop I don't use those that's for my clothing line that's for my brand but i use simple thank you cards they have they have like the gold foil on them they come in different colors these are really cute and they have so many different styles and i also have the thank you stickers which i need to that's done they have the little thank you stickers so you can stick these on to seal your packages or just make your you know your packaging cute but these you can get off of amazon i'll have these linked down below but you can also check out you know the other ones that they have as well this one i just got in a variety of colors because it didn't really matter but you can do they have all different type of color schemes as well different sizes but these are business card size as well just simple thank you cards and i always write a handwritten note on the back so that's another option but you do need some type of thank you cards in the beginning before i bought these i did make some i just bought card stock so if you don't want to buy and if you're trying to save money because that's what i was doing in the beginning i was literally like nickel and diamond everything so if you're on a budget and you're trying to really save and you like all this stuff adds up i went right to walmart and I bought like this little assortment of colored card stocks because it kind of correlated with the color theme I had, had the nice gold. And I simply in Canva created my own thank you cards, cut them out and shoot. I still, when those run out, I'm still gonna go back to these cause you can create any design and cut them out. So I did this for a while and it's nice and personal. And then I can still, you know, write in my own thing. So you can go and get any type of color card stock that you want. We're in a time where we're doing things ourselves, DIY era. You can do this yourself and save your coins. Next up, if you are shipping out from home, which I advise you to, if you are running a business, save time. Don't waste time in lines in the post office. She ain't standing in no line when she's trying to run a business. So if you are running your business from home and you are shipping out packages on the regular, and if you're trying to scale your business, I advise you to ship from home. You can use shipping platforms. Um, Etsy has their own shipping platforms. Shopify has their own shipping platforms. There's a lot of shipping apps that will help you get low discounts and ship from home. Printing labels from home is so easy and more efficient, and it goes with any e-commerce platform. So now you can do this the regular old-fashioned way, print it out from your regular inkjet printer, tape it on with scotch tape, or you can be more efficient and print from a thermal label printer. So I have the MF label printer. It's a thermal printer, never takes ink, never runs out of ink. I don't know how it does it, but you know, just hooks up to my computer. It takes the four by six rolls, and um this is the size you can get them in bundles quantities i think even um ups gives them out for free as well but you just stick it in there print out your labels it has the adhesive backing so that way you can just literally stick it right onto your boxes or right onto your poly mailers or anything but this is awesome so you need this i'll have it linked down below which one i use i know they have um what's that other expensive one, it's right on the tip of my tongue. I can't think of the name of it, but that expensive one. But I got mine for under 200 So listen, this was a great deal. Also, you need a shipping scale. The shipping scale I have holds up to 90 pounds. It's really awesome. It's been working like a charm. And I weigh all my products at home. So if you are shipping labels at home, you will need a shipping scale because you will have to weigh your items. So shipping scale, thermal printer. We getting it popping. Let's go on over and move over to some other items. So now the next thing that you're gonna need if you're running a business from home and if you're shipping from home, of course you're gonna need boxes. You're gonna need poly mailers. You're gonna need bags. Which ones do you buy? There's so many choices, so many sites. I'm gonna tell y'all, so many people refer everyone to Uline. I do not use Uline. You wanna know why? Because you have to buy so many in bulk to get a discount price. So I just found that I've compared prices. I just recently went back on there not too long ago because I wanted to buy new size boxes. I have so many different size boxes that I use. It doesn't make sense for me to purchase from Uline because I'm not buying 200, 300 of the same exact size. I ship mugs, I ship tumblers, I ship sweatsuits, I ship hats, I ship everything. I use tissue paper. And I use this huge bubble wrap. 
bubble wrap I use. So this you can get off of Amazon or you can get right from Walmart. I'm gonna have everything again that I use. Link it down below. This tears, it has the, um, what is it, the perforated? What, what do you call it? I don't know. I ain't trying to be fancy. I forgot what it's called. The I can't say the word. Y'all know what I'm talking about, where it tears like 12 by 12. So I'll rip this, and this lasts me so long. This is the second one. Um, I just bought a second one. So I've already used it. I forgot how many feet this is, but this is awesome. You need this if you're selling... Um, if you're selling glass, if you don't sell anything that, you know, that needs to be protected, then you don't have to use this. But for those of us who are, that's what I use. So now you can get free boxes from the USPS. You can have them delivered right to your house. If y'all saw my garage and how many of these boxes I've used, it was like, it's crazy. Now I just use them. I open them up and I use them for crafting projects. So that way it don't mess up like tables. But um, you can get these for free. I got the priority tape for free from USPS.com. You want to use that. You can only use that if you're shipping priority. But if you're using, if you're shipping any other way, you just want to get regular tape, I get whatever is the cheapest. <laughs> um, since I'm talking about tape, you can also get custom tape, branding tape. This is awesome. Like, it, all it takes is, um, where's it at? Boom. Water, you wet it, and it, this sucker sticks. Just like your Amazon packages when it comes to your house and you see that Amazon label on it. Um, all it uses is water. You have to create your design yourself. I get this from Sticker Mule. StickerMule.com. This is awesome for branding tape. So if you're running a brand, um, a custom brand of your own, you want to use some type of custom tape because when people are shipping your packages, they're like, hmm, what's that brand? Make sure you put your website on it. Your website has to be on it. I've had people order just from seeing the tape the package what is that what brand is that and they'll look it up and they'll order just by passing your package along so you never know who will see your brand brand your tape so get brand tape stickermule.com so now i'm gonna be honest i don't i have so many of these boxes i got these boxes because i didn't know how i was going to ship yet but i found out that these flat rates are much more than using regular boxes. And I get my boxes from Walmart, if I didn't mention that already. Walmart.com, they are excellent. You can get them in bundles of 25, 50, uh, and they're just cheap. It comes out less than a dollar a box. Whereas Uline.com, it was like a dollar or more a box. So she wasn't trying to have that. But these just come out cheaper. These, you can walk into the post office and get them, or you can order them online, create an account, and you can have them shipped to you all the time. Now, if you're selling like little cute, cute items, you know, keychains or whatever it is, you want to have like some nice little packaging. This is going to go inside of like your bubble mailers. Your bubble mailers will protect. Now, listen, if I'm selling this glass mug, which I would never put this in here, just use an example for size. If I'm putting, if I'm shipping something this small, I'm not going to give them a poly mailer this big. You want to make sure that you're sending the poly mailer for the right size. So that's why I have so many different sizes of different things. I have tissue paper. My tissue paper, y'all can be fancy if you want to get tissue paper made from Alibaba and all that. But listen, I get this tissue paper from the Dollar Tree. It's like 35 sheets in one. If I want to be fancy and I'll get the one with the sparkles, that's 25 sheets in one. For one dollar, you can't beat that. Tissue paper from the Dollar Tree. Say no more. That's where I get that. So now, when I'm selling my garments, my clothing, I always use these clear plastic bags. I have so many in different sizes. This is, I think, like 8 by 10. This is like a 12 by 15. I even have bigger. This is like even smaller for just like little baby onesies, bibs. So you have to go on Amazon. And again, I get these from Amazon. This is like the little small size. I forgot like seven by something. I can't remember. But these are like excellent for shirts, sweaters, hoodies. I even have a real big one that will fit sweatsuits up to like size 3X. So you want to get you know, little clear plastic bags if you're sending out your garments. I don't just stick my shirts or hoodies or clothes inside of this. I stick them in here with my thank you cards, everything inside of this, and then I put it in the poly mailer. These are really strong and sturdy. They won't tear unless they get snagged on something because I have gotten them snagged on my mailbox, like on a hook and had to run back in and get a new one. 
But these poly mailers are weatherproof. They, they're great. So you can get them all in different colors, different sizes as well. I have bigger, I have smaller, but these are just great. You want to have nice packaging. When your people unbox and unwrap your stuff that came from your shop, you want it to look nice. You want your stuff to be protected. And also, these come in like bundles of 100 or 200. So they are cheap. They are pennies on the dollar. Thank me later. So these, you know, for like little keychains. I don't have any up here. But just like little tokens, little items, whatever you want to get, like little nice little baggies to fit anything in they scrunch up they're so cute they go in boxes i, I love see-through stuff so see-through stuff and you know it just makes everything look nice boom what's in the box that crinkly paper that you be seeing in everyone's tiktok videos everyone's videos this stuff is a godsend boom this thing was full i've had this for the longest you it comes in different colors too uh, but instead of buying it little by little in like little bags, this was a huge 10 pound box. How much should I pay for this? I think it was $10. I want to say this box was $10. Was it 10 pounds? I should wait on my scale right now, but I'm not doing all that. All I know, it was cheap. Where did I get it from? Staples. Staples.com. Listen, I have never had a broken mug using this or I just put it on top of like my package in the fill space make it look nice and pretty with my thank you cards you better get you some scrunchy paper now I won't have this link down below because all you gotta do is just go to staples.com and get it you need some type of scrunchy paper to stuff your boxes to make your boxes look nice like so now if you are pressing clothes at home you definitely need some pad pillows you'll need some pressing pillows now all of this my Teflon sheets I have the little pocket one, the sleeve one, little pet, small pillow, big pillow, and with the Teflon, this all came in one bundle. They have great bundles on Amazon.com. I'll definitely have this one linked down below because it just came with all this stuff. You're also going to need some heat transfer tape. I'll have it linked down below, but you definitely need some heat transfer tape to hold down stuff. Whether you're supplementing or whether you're doing garments, you'll always need heat transfer tape. You'll also need heat gloves as well. That's for supplementing. So things like that, just little small basic tools that you'll need to run and start your business that will help in everyday life and make life so much smoother. Everyone keeps asking me about my tea ruler. I actually like just broke it. Just snapped off the, the things that keeps it above it actually sits above the shirt where you can just easily slide your design or vinyl sublimation paper underneath but the top part sits in the t there's a groove everyone i'm only showing this because some people keep asking me how it works so this part there's a small groove it sits right in the groove of the t-square there's a line that's open and centered so from the bottom of your heat press, you'll know if your design is straight. You can line this and center this with the bottom of your heat press. Make sure it's straight. So that way when you bring it up, no matter how big your design is or how small, especially if you have words, you'll know it's centered. It's straight. The worst thing you can do is hold up your design after you've pressed it and it's crooked a little bit. That's because you didn't have yourself a T-square. But of course, this will center from the collar, this will center from the bottom, and you bring it up to make sure everything is straight in both directions. So I'll have this link down below as well. There's so many different things you can use to start your business, whether it's the packing equipment, the shipping. I think people more so wanted to know, like, what do you need for small business at your house? So you'll also need some type of organization storage to hold all your vinyl. I just came across this one. This thing is like awesome. You can build it out. You can do it any type of way stand it up like this you can even do it like on a diagonal they have a piece where you can put it on where it can spin it comes in white and clear i don't think i've seen it in black you can buy as many as you want to link them and um, do more i like it because you can actually store your vinyl if you want to be fancy on diagonals i actually like this one better than this one this is the first one i had got of course i got both of them off of amazon now if you don't want to spend money and buy these i did see this little um hat with these wire racks from the Dollar Tree. And when I went, I could not 
find them. I finally went to the Dollar Tree another day to a bigger Dollar Tree and I saw them. I said I could have saved money and did that. So you can put like these, I think they're like dish racks or something. I think they're the dish racks and you hang them on the wall and you can literally just put your vinyl rolls in there. But I think this is awesome because, you know, this is really sturdy. These things like lock and click in place and these are like really awesome. And I like it because the holes are bigger in this one than it is in this one. But these you can stack, you can um, sit them or you can hang them as well. But these are awesome. So I just want to show you my storage solution for like my vinyl. I'll be definitely getting more of these because you know we have so much vinyl. So many. I try to keep my vinyl section. So this is my regular vinyl. Um, there's a few little different little specialties. Uh, my Oracle 651. But I keep my glitter, holographic, you know, um, mainly up here. So now also... There's this card reader. I'm gonna be getting one soon. I do not have one yet because I'm a photographer. So I need it more so for that. I don't really need a card reader for my business because even when people pick up items from me and only people who I know can pick up from me, they still have to purchase online. So, or pay me in cash. So I've never used a card reader, but a card reader will come in handy for me in my business when I do fairs or shows or, you know, vendor events. But it definitely will come in handy for me when I do my photography. But a card reader is kind of essential, but not really a necessity when you're starting out. So I just basically went over things that you'll need when you first start out. Oh, oh, oh. Also what you need, I'm gonna move this aside. You need a tagging gun. You'll need a tagging gun. So I got mine off of Amazon. It comes with all of these, you know, pens. Um, it just has all of these in here. It really lasts a long time. So this will help you. This is if you're doing hang tags for your garments. Hang tags if you're doing customized. Um, hang tags if you're doing label and your own branding. And you want to put your own labels in your neck tags. So again, I use the business cards the business cards as my hang tag. So I'll just stick this right in, shoot it, and it go right into the garment. So I'll be doing a video on that and how I do my custom neck labels, where I get my custom neck labels from, and how I do these. So you'll see that in another video as well. So this is a nice rose gold weeding kit that I got, four piece set. And because I love the color rose gold, my sister actually bought this one from me. This one just feels so much better in the hand as opposed to the one that comes with the cameo. This is much thicker. Um, you know, I was using this in the beginning and it weeds fine, but this just has a much better grip. And of course, I just love the color. So this is a really nice um, little gift set that my sister bought for me that you might like. I got it off of Amazon. You can find these kits anywhere, but I like this one because of course it is rose gold and it's a four piece set. So that's my weeding tool kit if you want to, you know, pick this up as well. So you will need some type of lighting if you're taking product shots, no matter what it is. I have lights, you know, downstairs in my house as well with soft boxes. But if you're starting out small, a great ring light will do the trick. It definitely provides lights of light. So it has different lighting settings and you can turn it down. So I'm turning it down. You can make it warmer. This thing has so many different lighting effects. I love it. And it also comes with, but let me turn it down for right now because it's too bright. You can also use the remote, but you can also control it on here as well. So I can go up on here and I can go down on here. But it also has the attachment for the phone, but it also has the attachment for the iPad as well. So I'm going to turn it off so you can see it better. Boom. So that's the ring light. And uh, I don't know how tall it is, but it can go, it comes much higher than this. It has like all the different knobs where you can lift it up, but it has the iPad attachment. So that way you can put your iPad here if you want. And you see right here where it's holding the phone. It has a swivel ball head, but you can also attach two more phones if you want. If you need three different angles, if you're really serious about your recording or taking photos, you can get three. I know y'all TikTok is out there. I love that stuff. So this is a RGB ring light where it changes the colors and the lighting and stuff. So I have it, of course, because I'm a photographer, I do content. So for my clothing line, like when I'm doing um, ads or different things like that, you want different lighting effects. So this is an 18 inch. I'll have it linked down below. This is a really good. My other ring light that I had, it had the pieces that you had to clip on one by one. 
I was tired of that because if my ring light ever like fell over or something, the pieces would fall out. So I still have that one downstairs, but this one is much better. It's one solid piece where it does not have to, you know, you don't, you don't have to click each one in place and it doesn't have that on um, the color films. This gives you all the different colors that you want. This was a really great investment buy. So you can use this to take product shots. You can use this to do your videos for like your ads. If you're running, you know, if you do videos, content, you know, content creators out there, this is great for your clothing brands or product shots. Comes in handy. I hate when it's on selfie mode because I feel like I'm not looking at you guys. So which camera should I be looking at? So now let's go downstairs because I want to show you what you need or what you might need as well when you're doing product shots. Okay, so I'm downstairs in my, this is technically my little formal living room area, but I took everything out, put it in my garage. I have a family room, so I use that. But this is where I do all my product shots, all my photography. Um, yeah, I have this my little in-home studio. So I'm going to show you. This is my soft box, but of course you don't have to have stuff like this because I do actual photography for clients. But what I do have, I went to Home Depot and I got these boards. They come in different colors, different backgrounds. I like the wood plank ones. And as you see, I have it on my floor and I lay literally everything here when I do my product shots. Let me show you. I am gonna do a separate video on this as well on how I actually do my product shots. Don't y'all be trying to look at my background in my house now because it's a mess. Um, but all I do literally is I'll position whatever it is, you know, and I'm just throwing this here for right now. And you take your picture on here. Now, now they do have, and I'm sorry, I don't have the light on in here, but now they do have, um, like these boxes by like nine by nine, 12 by 12. I'm going to link those as well. Show you right here. They're called like light boxes where you can put um, small products in but if you have you know larger products clothes and stuff you want to lay everything out and I'll give you and I'll insert a picture of like my product shots and how it actually looks so that's what it looks like when I'm actually taking my product shots on these backdrops again you can get these backdrops at Home Depot I don't know if they come at Lowe's but when you see like on Etsy all the different nice backdrops they have like marble ones they have you know the wood ones they have the brick ones but you can buy them on Amazon as well you can buy nice cheap backdrops on Amazon because these come really big I had to cut this down to size the other one is in my garage so this is my white backdrop and I'll just change it out when I have black but again these are like the really huge paper rolls these are like really really large um i forgot how many feet they are they're longer than 10 feet but i have different sizes different colors so this is why i had to move all my couch and stuff out from over here but um i use this and i use this light when i take my product shots but all you need is a ring light get you a nice backdrop they have the lighter one as well but they have nice marble ones they have paper ones this one is actually like you know a board so it is you know thick and heavy so if you don't have the space to bring it home they can cut it down for you um, at Home Depot or you can just buy paper ones listen whatever you can do to make it work make it work honey get them product shots out I don't advise you using your regular floor because you're gonna be putting products on it so you definitely don't want to use your regular floor that's kind of nasty um, it doesn't matter how much you clean it it's products that you're gonna be showing so I wouldn't I would never use my actual floor I would actually use some type of backdrop to put your garments on um, Trying to think, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? So I think that's a wrap on everything that you'll need, um, at least from my perspective. Hope this video helped you out, guys. I'm about to head back upstairs. So if you found this video helpful, definitely give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe down below. If you're not here, hit that red subscribe button for your girl because I definitely would love to have you join the channel, join the family, and join all the fun. I post weekly, twice a week, and I'm about to start posting three times a week. Y'all better watch out. Turn on the notification bell so that way you're notified every time I post a new video, guys. As always, peace and blessings, move in grace. Get out there and start that business.